Hello, this is Alina, Dizzy Blonde, with a jar opening. This is my last one. But before we open this, I wanted to mention a couple things. Um, if you're a reseller or if you um, buy jars, bags, whatever, you're always going to get something like these stick pins. This one here is sterling silver. And it's got a name on it. But anyways, um, Google this exactly. Different ways to wear stick pins. And then click images. Because you would be surprised when you do. And that's all I'm going to say. Also, these are my faceted pearls. You can see that they give off a shine. This one is like a Tahitian gray color. It's so pretty. And this one's a silver color. I also have some bumpy ones I love too. Oh God, they're so pretty. But anyways, let's look at this jar. It's $50, like the others, but it won't be as bad as the last one. Let's do first impressions. Lots of pearls on the bottom. Shells, of course. More shells, pearls. Um, I did, did see, I know that's silver, because I've been gazing at it. There's some named things in here, but there's also somewhere in here, I believe, a pair of earrings that are gold. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I believe this is gold-plated. Um, I'm hoping it's got a name on it when I pull it apart, because I've gotten those before, which was the main reason why I grabbed this jar, because I knew for sure that was. And there's some sparkly stuff. Watches, of course. And there's an Alex and Annie. And hopefully not a whole bunch of earrings. So I'm really tired of earrings. I just clean them up and I try to match them to when somebody buys something out of my store, my Etsy store, I try to match them to something that they bought. Although, I did put a pair of Brighton earrings in with a Brighton necklace I sold in my eBay store. They were just little posts, but they were Brighton. So there we go. I should probably drag that right back out of the trash like she always does. Uh, this was a cool jar, too. Where did you get these cool jars? Oh, this is old. It's got, like, a little leaf design on there. Doesn't have a name or anything. It does have some wear. Let me see this up close. I find this very interesting. There's an earring. There's my magnet. <coughs> okay. That part's magnetic. It just keeps wanting to stick to here. It's still super cool. I think. I like it. That's a cool bracelet. I like the vintage stuff. I like vintage stuff more than you know, like this. Uh, this is Alex and Ani. Oh, this one's cool though. It's got a crescent moon. A couple of feathers. And it says Grace journey and blessing. 
Cat speed. Doesn't say how much energy it gives. Plus. Just says plus it. That's cool. It's probably one of the few ones I like. Um. I really like it. out. Hopefully there's good stuff in here because that last jar was doo-doo. Yeah. There's some delicate chains in here I don't want to break. One of them Seems to be attached to this. Oh, great. A great big tangle. Right. Let's pull it all the way out and we'll get rid of this shell. <laughs> because we're going to get rid of it anyways. Ugh. trash. Okay. Let's pull out any ear. Wow, that's an earring. Is there another one? Must be buried. There's some big earrings in here. <laughs> There's another big one. There's, of course, no name on them. This one, the plastic little. Ah, oh. yeah, it might be Kenneth Lane. Don't know. It says K L. Yeah. Earrings, 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 earrings. Earrings, earrings, earrings. There's this little teeny tiny brooch. This is new, but it's still cool. It has a heraldic lion on it. Not sure what that stands for. I think somebody added this chain. Or something went on it. Another cuff earring. Oh, I see. These go together. It came apart. I guess it's a dress clip. Earring, earring. Is that an earring? Earring, earring, earring. This bangle. See if it has a name in it, because it feels like it's well made. So when you look for, you know, it's got that um, satin gold on it, Ancline style. Surprise, it has nothing marked on it. But it's still nice, nice little brace, bangle bracelet. Magnabilities. I guess you put something in here. You know, I think I just threw away um, a card for someone who was selling Magnabilities because it was, it was in a pocket from who knows when. A long time ago. Oh my gosh, earrings. Okay, so we're gonna have lots of earrings. Lots and lots of earrings. Because 
as usual. I get everything all tangly. Wow, look at this mess. Let's go with something easy. This is one of those that looks like it's made from guitar strings. It's bent. How's everybody doing? <laughs> it's a good time to chat. Say, so, you know, I, I had a thousand followers. We could be chit-chatting while I do this, but I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon. So, who knows? a little silver bangle with a couple little mother pearls. Another just bangle. Kind of reminds me of Monet, but no marks. Here's another one. No marks. I'm curious what this mess is. There's a little stretchy little crystals. Pretty. Kind of in blues, golds, and coppers. Then we have this. Something in here just says, Look at me. I know it's not gold. Almost done. There we go. No marks, but it's still pretty. Yeah. We gotta move all this stuff. I'm waiting for matches. Pretty, dainty, sparkly. I'm looking to see, oh, missing one stone. What a bummer. But you know, that's, that's why people donate them. Oh good, this separated on its own. This is like super lightweight. And it's got a little Tag LC. Um, this looks like the Laura Conrad. It doesn't look like uh, Anne Klein. Because it's, whoops, it's that kind of LC. So I'm going to say Lauren Conrad. So proud of myself for learning all these. Is there a right and a wrong? Oh, it's missing some stones too. Or it's supposed to be that way. Oh, it looks like they're just on random ones, the coppery ones. And then we have this. I think. Oh, this is a couple different things. This also has no name. I don't know how to show this. It's got a bar, it's like a Y. And then it has these three stones, or crystals. So that's an interesting piece. And then there's this one, which is a Y. Two crystals. Okay. 
can see that. Pretty sparkly. Do you ever wonder if these all come from the same people when you see things that look like the same jar over and over again? Or is it just me? Uh, earring. 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 Earring stuck on my sleeve. Earring. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're back to a lot of earrings. Lots of earrings. And a Christmas tree pin with no marking. That's cute. Cute, cute. Earrings. More cuffs. It's missing something. A handmade ring. Earrings, earrings. Here's another one of those bangles, I guess. They go together. Earrings get caught up in everything, don't they? Look at this, still, still hanging on there. This sure gives off that 80s vibe, don't you think? It's got those jewel tone colors that were so popular. The purples, the pinks, the blues. There's a little ring. Looks like it came out of a gumball machine. Probably to the person that donated it. Well, this is interesting. These are real pearls. There's something on this clasp. I don't know if I want to zoom in because I can't seem to remember to zoom out. It says 120F5K. Whoops. So I don't know when that would be popular. It looks like there might have been a charm on here because there's a ring. But that's cute. And here's that bracelet. It's missing the safety clasp. It does need some washing. It's kind of scuffed, but it's not bad. You can kind of mark in here. Could be totally wrong. And it's like every time I get this and then I don't see it, and then I see it later when I'm cleaning it. It might be just gold plated, but I don't see any name on here anywhere. Nothing. which is too bad. I still like it. Still like it. And here's a little necklace with a little fake druzy with glitter. <laughs> Can I find the matches to those earrings? No. I have a feeling there's gonna be more. Lots of earrings. She must have had a lot of earrings. Oh, here. Hmm. That's a little puppy angel. It's always sad, right? It does have a name on the back. It says something I can't see. Knitting and up 
upside down. Maybe that's why. N N K. No idea. That's a little pewter dog. It's a little pup. And we have a watch. Kendall and James. Is this like for a wedding or something? It just seems like an odd name for a watch company, right? More of these. I got three now. This great big honkin' pearl necklace by T E O R G I O U. And then it's got a little symbol on it. So I've never heard of that brand. But I will be looking it up. They're in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. And a uh, one of these, I call them, uh, oh, this one's J. Crew. A bubble necklace, J. Crew, in a turquoise color. All the stones are there in good shape. Pretty colors. Almost has that southwestern summery spring. Today is the first day of spring. Now you know what day I'm doing this. It's right the first day of spring. This is just, I'm not even sure. It's another guitar string type thing. I don't know. Maybe it goes up on your top of your arm. these out because they look like they all go together. This one has something. Probably, um, what do you call it? Uh, Fool's gold. <clears throat> Lots of bangles. Lots of bangles. Two more. I have one of these that says dream, but this one says breathe. Or is that breath? Earrings. There's a little bracelet. It says love. It's pretty worn. No silver. It has an opalite. Well, glass crystal. Pearl bracelet. Ah, here's the other earring to this one. Big hunkers. Door knocker style. Here is a butterfly. Nothing fancy. Just a little butterfly. Like gold or silver. I'm starting to get kind of bummed now. <laughs> like, I hope there's something good in here. Oh, there's something I can give my daughter. If she wants it. It's an H. Her name's Heather. Wow. I had one of these made. When I was like 10 years old, we went to Tia, uh, uh, Tijuana. It was my first ever um, anything with my name on it. Because <laughs> my name, the spelling on my name is 
know what you think because <laughs> it's Norwegian but I remember getting one of those in Tijuana I remember paying for it with my money there's a ring pretty worn a sparkly necklace with some tangles of course Chain's really delicate. I think this one's silver. Oh my god. I just realized. I'm so sorry. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> one day I'll be able to do this without messing up, right? video just because I forgot to put a mic on <laughs> there that's kind of cute I'm sure they're just little CZs because there's like no purity mark on here anywhere That's cute. And it looks like all the stones are there. And then there's this one. It's a little starfish. It's very delicate. Very delicate chain. And my guess is somewhere on here. I'm not sure where. It's going to say 925 or sterling or something. Because it definitely feels like it and smells like it. Yeah, the class says 925 right here. There's my magnet. Oh, that's inside there. So it's really weird that that's silver and inside this gold tone. Oh, I hate these chains. They tangle in your hair. It's worn out and I throw it away. <laughs> they always look good when they're new and then you're like, ah, it's ripping out the back of your hair. These are just acrylic. One's missing. Several are missing. Or at least two are. But there's that. Let's get this big shell thing out of the way. There it is. This is for you, Lisa. I know you love the shells. Right? <laughs> She's like, no. And this looks like I knew it. This is a Kate Spade. Oops. That was great. Ran right into my coffee. And if you can see this really close. It's like remember to pull out. Come on. There it is. Oh, I had it for a second there. Come on, come on, right there, there, there you go, nope, had it for a second, trust me it says Kate Spade. <laughs> Let's 
I have a couple Kate Spade bracelets. That's why I had a feeling. That's cute. No, oh, this thing's heavy. This just says China. I guess it's supposed to have the um, coach look. I at least tried. Huh, this is interesting. Ooh. I forget what this is called. It's a jasper. It's like a red jasper, but it's got gray in it. And they made it look like an acorn. But that's a cool stone. I'm wearing amethyst today. Well, I don't think that's real. But this one's real. Because it's February. And amethysts are good for uh, healing properties. About the same as lavender. Paget and another one of these. Now I found out that one that I watched that had the crack top came from Nordstrom's. Let me show you this one. This one has like a rose gold crown and a frog on each side with little rhinestones. This I don't think is a real stone. I think it's just glass. But I bought it from somebody that does YouTube videos a while ago. Goodness. I'm just going to leave all the earrings out because there's a lot of them. Here's another one of those. Goes with that. I guess. There's just one of these neck cuff things. Something tells me this is gold. Could be wrong. Or vermil. Wow. That little teeny tiny stone is super sparkly under the light. I'll put it right there. Put it right there. A belt buckle with a sticker on it. Terrible. Recure, cure, recurito de Cali, Colombia. I kind of like this side better. Another drilled shell faux um, puka. This is the year of pearls. This is the vice president, Camilla. Camilla, how do you say it? I know you have to say it like Camelot. Camelot, Ka, Mella, Camilla. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I saw something written on here, but guess not. It's got a nice clasp. You can hear my rats drinking. <laughs> and that would be Remy. Just a uh, long pearls. No. There isn't a second one of these. Oh, interesting. Let's see. I'm trying to find stuff that's not earrings. A Timex watch. I 
and the rest just looks like earrings. I don't know, after sp spending all this money on these jars, I know it's a risk, I know it's gambling. You would just think they'd have a little bit better stuff. I like the color of these, champagne with like a really light blush pink bicones. Those are pretty. I'm going to repurpose those. Yeah, here's the earring that I think's gold. Oh. Bracelet matches one that I got last time. But these ones I thought were gold. But now that I'm holding them, I'm like, I don't think so. Well, they do say something on it, but I can't read it because it's so dirty and worn. Let's see if I can see it on this one. Nope. Gosh, it's so hard. Not gold. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Look how big this is. I have another one that's like this, but it has, um, oh, what do you call them? Lizards. There's lizards carved into it. Can you see that it's carved straight through? There's stainless steel. I think this one has a name. Yeah, it just says stainless steel. Doesn't have a name in it. Guy's ring. Anything else here that's not? We have this little bracelet, rhinestones, costume. A broken chain. This looks like gold. It'll probably go in my scrap. Gosh, it's got such a teeny tiny clasp. 10K. And what about the thing? Oops, of course you go right for that. It's not gold. But I can throw the chain in with my scrap. And there's just a little inexpensive ring. Oh, you know what? This ring here, that little bead, is actually a mood ring. <laughs> it's like, ah. I think we're just down to earrings now. There's an apple. Stick pin? Or not stick pin. Lapel. This little apple. All right, I guess it's, seriously, look. These are all earrings. <laughs> all of them. Let's pull out the easy stuff. Wow, these are brass. I thought there was two of them. They're kind of heavy. Cool, though. But definitely brass the bottom part very cool um, Egyptian revival because it's got like hieroglyphics those are nice clip-ons and say Liz Claiborne And if I pull out the big blingy stuff first, there's these. Remind me of Sherbert, right? 
red hoops. Kind of a boho y look. These big ones. These. Napier. <laughs> I'll have to keep that. What else we got here? I have these black dinglies. Red dinglies. Kind of a apricot -y orange color clip ons. What? It says Hong Kong. Um, I'm not seeing those. Little hoops, kind of a pinky color. Um, where's the other one like this? A zap with pink sparkles, glitter. Gold tone hoops, inexpensive. Another ones. My gosh. These no name. Shells. Uh more pendant. Haley Claire. Well, that's personalized, so. I don't know anybody named Haley Claire. Oops, something just fell on the ground. An earring. These, these are broken. Oh well. One of the earrings is going to come up without a match. These horrible shell earrings. These earrings, these are actually pretty w nice, but you know, they're a costume. These, I know there's two of these, I've seen it. Maybe not, oh, yep, here it is. These are vintage, no name. knockers no name and these no name I saw two of these No name. Kind of a faux amber look. Let's see. And I got 
Beans. No name. These. These are actually nice. These. A lot of hoop type ones, don't you think? These. Some of these might be like Monet or something, I don't know. Or not. Okay, there's two of these. I see people do these all the time. I'm like, ah, these are the same quality as these. These are like a little rose gold with little crystals. of these. Yeah, these look like a watch band. <laughs> so, these, and I thought I saw this other one. Maybe not. Here it is. These two. I thought I showed these already. These. These. Hmm. Then I picked up something that felt like this. They were gold, white gold. But these I don't think are. But they were white gold and said uh, Israel. But these aren't. Little Christmas earrings. I must get a lot of earrings. These kind of a peachy pink. These, whoops, I want another earring. These, it's because the posts are sticking in my arm. These have that Monet look, they look like a Monet bracelet or something. Napier. These. Little bitty hoops. And then these little bitty hoops. All of them need washing. Look really bad. These. These have a mark in them. Oh gosh. I'm not sure. I honestly cannot tell you. I 
it's a really strange mark. These might be gold. It's really, really hard to read inside. But I have gold here too. This isn't. It's not Tesla's for gold. Hopefully I found some gold, right? Could use a little gold. Other than a broken chain. Those. These. These. These have a name on them too. Mo I think it says Monet. It's pretty worn. Uh, yep. No. Yeah. Money. And no other one of those. And these more pinky color. These. Uh, one of these little fake opal with a fake ruby. Little Hamsa hands. Little bow. Probably the other one's on the floor because I don't see it here. These little plastic ones. Uh, a little bee. That's cute. Hope there's another one of those. There's no matches to this. The other matches might be on my floor. Those. I know these are silver. Let me find the mark for you. UTC 925. And probably man-made stone. Kind of in a ruby color, but I don't think it's real ruby because real ruby wouldn't be in sterling silver, not quality ruby. Oh no, I hope the other part of this is on the floor. These are Roxanne, I don't know how to say her name without saying ass, because <laughs> it says ass, <laughs> sorry, ass, Asselin, something like that, so I'm going to be bummed out if I don't have the other part on the floor, oh, and here's a bracelet I missed, it's just dive bone. I think I need to find another place to look for jewelry. Because uh, so far, I just got like a bunch of earrings, a little tiny silver starfish. These. Missing one of these. This might be gold. I don't know. This little tiny chain is gold. Um, there's really nothing that I can see of any value in here. <laughs> to, and I say that because I'm thinking, you know, making my money back. I mean, like, these are cool. But the whole name of the game is to at least get your money back or make a profit. And I don't see that happening with this last two jars. I mean, maybe, maybe I can scrounge up enough things to sell. You know, clump a bunch of earrings together or something. 
six pairs for ten bucks. I don't know. What do you think? Kind of a disappointing jar too. I was really looking forward to this jar. So I'm kind of bummed. Because I thought it was going to have magical stuff in it. That's what I get for thinking magical. So I need to clean this up. Oh, did I even test this with a magnet? No. So there's that. Lots of freaking earrings. I have a basket just full of earrings. Matched. A basket full of matched earrings. A basket full of single earrings. I just kind of throw them all in there. I put them in little bags like this. And throw them in there. Oh, dang it, this took an hour. So anyways, that's what it is. I am sorry it took so long. It's the earrings. I'm blaming the earrings, right? So anyways, here we are. Um, not really thrilled. I'm going to have to go out and find someplace else to get jars. So, it's like one and two disappointments. I still like this too. Doesn't go with my other bracelet. Oh, wait, I have, forgot I have that one too. There might be some small hope. <laughs> small hope. Anyways, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for taking so much time. Um, thank you for watching my video. You know, give me a thumbs up if you want. Whatever. Uh, go Granny Go. A tutorial on making jewelry. I don't know. I tried that once. And um, I'm just going to say I'm a Virgo. And I'm a perfectionist. And while I was making it, um, I was making one just to repurpose some pendants. I ended up deleting it because, you know, and here I put these up and they're not perfect. But, you know, there's that too. So you can't be really perfect in here. These are nice too. So I guess I'll pull out the nicer pairs. And that is it. Thanks. Give me a thumbs up. Say hi. What's your sign? How about that? Now you know what mine is. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.